I am a poverty scholar. That house is mama, that house is daughter. I am a poverty scholar. All the people you don't want to see, never want to be, look away from me. What you gonna do, arrest me? We're in your city. I am a poverty scholar and I rock my jailhouse attire because me and my poor mama did the poverty crime of being unhoused in this stolen indigenous holler. I am a poverty scholar, the melanin challenge daughter of a strong afro equal mama for without whom there would be no me, a mama soltera and a welfare queen. And yeah, the anti-social workers and the case manglers call me crazy, lazy, dumb, and a bum because my knowledge don't come from the institution. So the notion of poverty scholarship was born in the calles, the prison, the street corners, community centers, welfare offices, shelters, <laughs> kitchen tables, assembly lines, tenements, favelas, projects, and ghettos. All the, pla all the places people don't look for educators, experts, leaders, researchers, linguists, artists creative thinkers and media producers. Poverty scholars like us are usually the people silenced, incarcerated, criminalized, displaced, houseless, disabled, marginalized, sorted, separated, and extinguished. We are told our knowledge is not valid or legitimate. Our speech is improper, our work and our choice is criminal. Our languages, writing, thinking are deemed invalid through a process I call linguistic domination which includes a complex battery of tests and studies developed and promoted by formal institutions of learning, like this one, that have gained power, authority, and legitimacy through their stolen land and hoarded resources, privilege, white supremacy, and power. <coughs> In relation to formal institutions of learning, we poverty scholars are valued as subjects of research surveys, curriculum, study. Our situations and struggles are developed into complete degree programs. And graduates of these programs are fed into jobs in the every hungry, nonprofit industrial complex, prison industrial complex, welfare system, as we welfare queens call it, and or academia. <laughs> All sites that our struggles are used as a rationale for their existence. Our art is considered quaint or fetishized as outsider or folk art. If we don't ascribe to or have access to formal education, if we don't master its complex system of language, we are called at risk, learning disabled, speakers of an invalid tongue, ebonics or pigeon. Our writing is called mediocre and our research is deemed invalid. We are only important as an informant.